What's up guys, it's Brad from Light Architect. So recently I've been inspired by the Arrival visual effects breakdown by Oblique FX, and I wanted to try to recreate something similar to the UFO landscape shots all inside of Blender. In the process of adding this UFO orb type object to my scene, I wanted to add a little bit more variation in the shape. And since my 3D UFO in this instance was just a basic sphere primitive, one of the easiest ways I could do this without a lot of work is by using a Greeble displacement map. Now, a lot of you have probably heard of this concept before, but for those of you who don't, Greeble style displacement maps are one of the easiest ways you can add some surface level detail to your 3D models without having to do any 3D modeling inside of your editing mode on the actual 3D model. We can use these people height maps to define which part of the model are indented and which part of the model are extruded, just like you'd apply a diffuse texture or a specular map to your 3D model as well. In this video, I'm going to share the short process on how I added this small scale detail to this UFO ship to add a little bit more interest and detail to our UFO asset here. So here we are inside of Blender. This is our final model here, and you can see it's still pretty simple, but we have these nice detailed cuts and crevices on our essentially basic sphere here. Now, for the sake of this shot, I've divided our sphere into two pieces, but originally this was just one sphere. But for the sake of this example, I'll go ahead and show you guys how we turn this original half sphere here into something with a more detailed mesh like the bottom one here very quickly with just a few modifiers and a Greeble height map texture. So I'll go ahead and delete our modifiers for now, and we'll start from scratch here, just as if you've added a half sphere into your scene. Okay, so this is our original half sphere here, and as you can see here, we have added a very basic diffuse and roughness map to our material, but now let's add some more detail with some mesh displacement. So I'll just select it here, and I'm going to go to the modifiers tab here, and the first modifier I'm going to add, because our half sphere is fairly low poly here, we actually need to add a subdivision surface modifier to it in order to make sure our height map can work effectively and add those small scale details, because our height map can only work on the vertices that exist, so if we add a subdivision surface modifier, it will have more vertices to work with. So I'll go to add modifier and we'll add a subdivision surface and we'll just increase this a bit. And you can see that kind of smooths out our object a bit. And it's going to give us some more detail to work with once we add our displacement modifier. So now we want to use our Greeble texture here, which I have downloaded, and I'll put a link to this in the description below. But these are the textures that you can use as height maps to add detail to your 3D models. So I just have this very basic Greeble Techno texture here. So what I'm going to do is add a new Displace modifier right here. And you can see it might get a weird result right off the bat, but don't worry about that. We're just going to click on New Texture, and then we'll go to our Texture tab to open that texture that we want to use as the displacement map. So go ahead and click on Open, and I just have our texture right here so select it open image and now you can see we're adding some detail to the mesh now obviously it's a little bit too much we also need to add some more subdivisions to make it a little bit more precise where we're adding the detail so I'll just go back to our modifiers tab and we can increase the both the viewport and the render subdivisions here and by doing this you can see we're actually getting some more hard edges on our model now right off the bat this is already giving us a lot of mesh detail it's way too much displacement right now unless you're going for this kind of look but all you have to do to dial back the displacement of these vertices is just bring down the strength here so we can do something like 0.2 and now we have something that looks very similar to that one below it and you can see what happens here if we turn off our subdivision surface it's just going to distort the vertices that exist on that primitive object but by subdividing it we're getting more detail to work with and that displacement map is able to work correctly where the dark parts of the image are the valleys and the white spots are the peaks. So now essentially we can play around with the strength until we get something we like. Maybe 0.1 is a nice bit of detail which is similar to our half sphere that we have below it and uh, yeah it's looking pretty good. One thing you can also do if you want to have a little bit more control over your Greeble displacement map here is you can go to UV and use the UV map that you have created for your sphere here if you've created one and then you can you know select the UV map that you have unwrapped for this object. Of course you can apply your own new UV map to it and adjust the scale of this displacement as well. So I'll go ahead and show you guys how to do that really quick just in case you're interested so we can go to data and then we'll add a new UV map here. You can see I've created some before, but double click here. We'll call this one Greeble for tutorial. Select that and then we'll go into edit mode with that UV map selected and then I'll press U and for this tutorial, we'll just go to smart UV project. Okay, now we're unwrapping that UV map. We'll go into object mode again and you can see something has changed here but um, what we really want to do is just select that uv map that we have just created Greeble for tutorial like so and now if we go into our uv editing tab here 
you can see that we can actually select all of our different vertices here. If you select the texture of your displacement map, you can select all the UVs and we can scale it up really big. Now this is a seamless UV map, so I can get away with scaling it up to add some more small scale detail to our ship like so. And if we go into object mode, now we have something that's very small scale detail. But what we can do is we can go back into edit mode, scale it down a bit so it's something in between small and large scale detail. And now we have something that's on par with our original bottom sphere here. And essentially, that is it, guys. That is how you can add some very simple displacement to add a little bit more detail to your 3D models very quickly inside of Blender. As you can see, if we go into rendered mode, it really helps to add small scale detail to things where you don't want to get in there and model every single aspect of it. Anyways, guys, that is it for this video. I hope it was helpful. I'll be doing a full breakdown of this UFO shot very soon on the channel, so stay tuned for that. As always, feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions or suggestions in the comment section below. Let us know what you'd like to learn next on the channel, and I'll see you next time.